In case you missed it, a couple of weeks ago, I shared a sneak peek into some of the updates that are coming soon to Trello, how they're leaning a little bit away from project management and into personal productivity, which I'm super excited about. I'm loving all of the new things that are going to be coming available. The more I use them, the more I love them. And I'll make sure to link to that video above in case you missed it so you can go check it out and get excited for all these new features that I think are coming really soon. But there was one thing that came up for me personally when it came to their planner. It's set up to be able to sync with Google Calendar, but I personally use Outlook Calendar. Now, they have told me that they are planning on incorporating Outlook into this as well, but I don't know when that's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to come in this initial rollout or a little bit later. So in the meantime, I had to find a workaround so that I could get my actual calendar synced in correctly with the planner. So I wanted to show you really quick how I did that in case you are in the same boat. But before we dive into this, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that little notification bell so that you never miss a tutorial or upload. So if you're in Outlook, you can see right here I'm in Outlook. First, you have to find the URL of your calendar. Now that sounds like it should be simple, right? Just go to share and you're going to find a URL. But guess what? You don't. You only find your permissions and stuff here. So what you need to do when you're looking at your calendar is you're going to hover here over the three dot menu of your calendar. You're going to go ahead and click on that and go into manage account. And then, of course, you'll come in here. So we're going to go ahead and go down to calendar. And then shared calendars. Okay, and then from here, see how you can actually publish a calendar. So you are going to need to select your calendar and actually publish it so that you have a URL here. Once you've done that, it's super simple. You're going to go ahead and just copy that link, right? And then we're going to head over to Google Calendar. And from here, you can actually come over to other calendars and click the plus sign as though you were going to bring in an outside calendar because that's exactly what you're doing. So you're going to click this button right here, and then you've got an option here of from URL, which we now have. So we're going to click on from URL. So then you're just going to go ahead and paste that URL. And you can, you do have the option here of making it public or not. I don't believe I had to make it public because when I'm logging into it through the Trello planner, it's staying internal. So I don't think you need to do that. And if you do have any potentially personal information on there or just things that you wouldn't want made public, then don't check the box. And then you go ahead and just hit add calendar. And it's created the calendar. You can see it's saying it's fetching those events in the background and that will then appear on my Google Calendar. Then when you are in Trello and you go into that planner panel, which again, if you missed that video, make sure you go watch it so that you know what I'm talking about. But once you've come in here, you're going to need to sync to a Google Calendar. If you haven't done that yet, you're going to be able to click here, choose your Google Calendar, log in through Google, and all of that is going to appear right here in your planner. If you're like me and you have a lot of separate calendars on your Google Calendar, not all of them need to be in here, right? Some of them are going to be just reminders for you for things. I like to track my bill paying that way and things like that. I don't need to see that here. I just need to see the things that actually take up my time. So then when you're looking at your view connected calendars, you're going to see the calendars that are relatable. You're going to see your primary calendar here, and then you're going to be able to show more calendars and come in here and see here is actually that brand new one that I just brought in. Now, if you want to rename this, which you probably will, then you're going to need to do that on the Google Calendar site. So you're going to need to go into the calendar itself and give it a new name. And that's it. It's super simple. I know it's a little bit annoying and I'm hoping that they get the Outlook connection straight into Planner done sooner than later because obviously that would be much simpler. But in the meantime, this is how you can do that so that you can keep everything synced together and start using these features as soon as they roll out to your account. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy. I hope you liked that video and more importantly that you found it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing it with a fellow solopreneur. And make sure you check out the description for links to how we can connect and maybe even work together.